Hello again and welcome back to the X Zodiac Early Access version. If you watched the last video, you know that X Zodiac has just gone out on Early Access. You can check it out on Steam. There's a link down below. And in the last video, we played through the first three levels of this version, two of which I had played previously, with the third one being totally new for me. And today we're gonna play the other three levels that have been added into this version, which I have never played, never really even seen. I'm really excited to see these new levels, hear the new music, and see some new bosses because the three bosses we've fought so far have all been really great. So first up today is Epaphos, which looks maybe a desert planet. Could also be like a gas giant, I don't know. We can't be certain why Zodiac would have any interest in the crumbling ruins of an ancient civilization, but it, if it's of interest to them, then it's probably bad for us. Aha, desert indeed. Looks hot, we got pyramids. Boom. <laughs> Loving this song. More to shoot. Oh. Fly through these rings just just because. Yeah, give me that laser, that's why. Love stuff like that. We got the walls popping up out of the ground like you'd see on uh, Venom. Oh jeez, oh jeez. You got me. Oh. What was that? That wasn't me, right? Hm. Thought somebody was behind me. I'm getting destroyed. Yes, let's go inside the pyramid. Always love that. I do wish that when I... Oh, <laughs> this is great. This is a straight thing from, uh, straight reference to Star Fox. Wow. That's a really cool transition. And then we got, like, ghost axes. Um, I was gonna say, I kind of wish that when I deflected something with the barrel roll that there was some sort of noise. Because when I do deflect something, um, it just kind of moves away, but I'm not sure if I hit it or not. I think that would be helpful. Just as feedback. Oh, blowing up their mouths is really cool. And I especially like that the inside is glowing. That's a cool look. What the heck is this? It's the scariest enemy I've ever seen. Creepy. I didn't know we were going to get supernatural up in here. Nice, that's a good explosion. That's what I want to see more of. Yeah, the, I really love the effects that they're using here. Just on everything. Okay, did we go inside this? I suppose we have to. I'm fine, you nerd. <laughs> Alright, who is it? Ooh. <laughs> you are not meant to be here. Creepy. Another ugly statue. Is this even like a Zodiac person, or is it just a creepy robot? Or that eyeball ghost?
Aha! Aha! Great reveal. I really like that. It was a robot all along. Whoop. It's magnificent. I'm not dying as badly this time, so that's something. Whoa. It's in the power of the ancients! Explosion. Beautiful. Great level. That eyeball in the pyramid creeps me out, though. S rank! That's what I'm talking about! And I got an achievement for getting an S rank on that level, so you, you should be able to get one for every level, I assume. Oh, jeez. Last time I was stinking it up. Now I've got a handle on it, sort of. What is next? We got two more, it looks like. Oasis. Oasi 5. <laughs> We've detected activity both above and below the super ocean of Oasi 5. There's no doubt Zodiac is after something of great value to them. Be careful. Ooh, I like this one already. Hit me with the details, Miko. Now that's something that you never really saw in Star Fox. There was never like a... I mean, they have watery levels, right? But this one's like in the middle of the day, like bright and kind of beachy feeling, you know? Whereas Star Fox had Zonus, which was like dirty water, <laughs> not at all the same. And then uh, Aquas, which was all underwater. Well, that's Star Fox 64. In the original Star Fox, there was nothing really watery except for that one boss, I think on Fortuna. And that was like my favorite, one of my favorite bosses in that game, because you were going through, like, a snow world, and then after going through a building, you popped out above some water, uh, which I thought looked really good. So I'm liking this vibe. Aquatic Colonies. There's data. We can do that uh, bonus level, hopefully. Last time I sucked at it. <laughs> this is starting to feel like looking for a banana in a bamboo tree. Monkeys say that all the time. Oh, I wanted that extra missile. Darn it all. A sub. <laughs> the capsizing. That is funny. Oh no, I'm going down. <laughs> the back part instantly floods. Ah. About that sea monster, this might be the boss. Looks good, though. Oh my god, that looks like evil Peppy. Giant octopus robot is great. Yeah, 
And he he knows Miko. Is it evil Peppy? Ow! They clearly have a history. Research, my dear. There's lore here, and I want to know more about it. scooped <laughs> Ooh, uh oh uh oh ah. Where'd you go? There he goes. <laughs> now that is insanity. <laughs> Very cool level. I feel like not not enough levels in games in general take place like in a beach or over the water environment. There's a more normal score for me. All right, here we go. Let's try and hack into this thing. Now I know how this works. We'll do a little better. What is it? Is it Space, space Harrier? I didn't look it up yet. Was that an old game that looked like this? It sounds kind of familiar, but I, I never played it, so... It's all new to me. Got some bouncing balls, we got some fidget spinners in here. I miss my fidget spinner. It sadly broke from spinning. Look at that, much better than last time. Those Moai heads really got me. There's a boss here, oh no. I was kind of assuming there wasn't one. Ah! Well, I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this. It is turning pinker. So I got that going for me. Now it looks like that boss from Mystic Quest. Okay, if that's all you're gonna do, I can do this. And I have more room to play with than I thought because we can get really close to the ground without crashing. Hey, I did it. Nice. Great explosion. We did it. Cool. A B. I'll take it at this point. <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Okay, I think this is the last one, because after this, there's a uh, construction sign. So, Xenon. Last one available right now. The easiest way in is via one of the highways that's still under construction, so you'll have to leave the UV MK3 behind for this one, I'm afraid. Watch out for the heavily militarized police force. Oh no, we're going to America. Ha <laughs> ha! Now this mention of a highway has me excited. 
Is this like a city level? Because that would be great. Oh my god! And on a hover bike, this is amazing. Wow. <laughs> Holographic banana. Highway level. Oh no, it's the heavily militarized police. Can still barrel roll. Okay. We just can't fly up. <laughs> oh, we're wanted. That was a great wanted poster, though. And uh, sorry, when that when that chicken guy beat him, he was just like flipping down the road, which was hilarious. We got cars. Sorry, civilians. Wow. I love this. Like, you could honestly do a, a whole game in this style, like, going down the road, but then it kind of... Ugh! But you have the flying sections, and then this level is really cool as well. I wonder if there'll be other bike levels. I hope so. Because I really like it. Yo! Sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying to notice things while just marveling at the visuals on this level and trying to not get exploded just easier said than done <laughs> the flipping <laughs> cracks me up <laughs> rail cops oh come on no I don't I mean the data's fine but I really need a repair that didn't do anything Ah! Uh. Jesus. Holographic donut. Please. Yes. Oh no, I missed the checkpoint because I was looking up. You fool. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yes, a pig. That's perfect. Now pull that little vehicle over. Amazing. I should have. I should have guessed. I. I was too busy dodging to really think about it. Good lord. right through there. At least I got some missiles. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. ready for that. I've almost got him. Yes. We are the law. Yeah! Oh, smoking once again. That level was so cool. I was so panicked because I was really taking a beating. Not going to get a good score. Give me that. Oh, B. Okay. I thought I was going to get a C for sure. All right, let's try this one more time. I was so like overwhelmed in my first run, but that that level was really cool. Whoa. That was close. 
Got some jellyfish going on here. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, so the first time I was doing one of these data levels, I I think I kept too much in the middle, when really we have a, a much larger range of motion than I assumed. So I just couldn't dodge things. Now, now I've got it, sort of. Ow, except that time. Those rings still get me. The peach rings. Ooh. Ah. Okay, so we can only damage the orange one. But it's also the one that shoots me. gotta be better at dodging. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. There we go. Whew. Nice. And A! How about that? Alright, let's see what it does now. Under construction. Thank you for playing the early access release of Exodiac. We hope you've enjoyed what you've played so far. I definitely have. More missions are in development, so please check back soon. All right, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. I definitely did, as you could tell. Uh, that was the early access version of Exodiac. It's available right now. If you want to try it for yourself, Go check it out. Again, there's a link to the Steam page down below. Grab it for yourself. And as you saw, there's going to be even more levels, more, uh, you know, additions, improvements, etc., etc. They have a Discord server where uh, Ben's on there talking about development. And just overall, I think this game is looking real good so far. Let me know if you have any questions. And I will probably be back playing more Exodiac when another uh, version releases. If there's a, an update during early access or when the game is fully released, we will be back and we'll play through it again. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.